Hey guys, Yummy here again, and today I'm bringing you a very intense round of chain link on the Lumpy Garden. Uh, we start out the game very well. My uh, team, in just a couple of minutes, gets this nice flank off, and we're headed towards E, the cafe, or that dreaded two floor building. Uh, I'm using the Scar H, which is this beautiful monster of a gun. Uh, it just tears two people, and I finally die uh, being blown up by somebody's sandwich. Uh, a little bit later, I, we realize that they backcapped us, so I'm working my way back and uh, having to take out these guys. Uh, miss all those shots. I should have just reloaded my Scar H. I make that, that mistake a lot and um, try to work on this recon and kill him. But <laughs> deal with that too. And then only th things only get worse whenever they parachute off the bridge, and that is definitely a place that you want to keep them off of as I feel the cold steel of somebody's knife. Just a few minutes later, I managed to get a flank off by myself, take out that guy on the bridge, and do exactly what you would want to do in a flank. Um, hardly anyone noticed, and the guys who did notice did fail in trying to stop me, so um, it did really benefit our team uh, momentarily. Uh, I knew I was getting shot at before I got hit there, um, so I was trying to be as agile as possible. Barely took out that guy and needed to protect myself because I, I can't even keep track of how many times I've actually like completely failed a flank. Just almost, e even like almost completing it and then getting taken spawn out. Me, please, spawn on me. I, I uh, tell my squ squad, urge them the to spawn around. on me so that we can uh, be successful in this back cap and uh, and uh, further our, our domination over the enemy team. Yeah, we try to protect ourselves as best we could so we can do this this back ridge as well as possible. But this is right in front of the spawn, so eventually I did get taken out. And I did think right here that our team did lose all of the bases just to find oh, out I that I, oh, I had been team switched. And I was now on the receiving end of this massive butt rape. Um, but my team, my team does show some quality. Uh, I always hate being on a team where I feel like I'm the only one doing a, doing uh, any work. And there were a lot of low-level players in this particular match, but um, we we did manage to fight pretty well here um, and not give up. Uh, many times you can be on a team that just sits down and takes it while whenever they uh, almost get completely uh, all capped. So it's a good thing that. My team did not give up and ended up just continuing to fight. Um, trying to push forward and capture the bases, uh, we actually outnumber them here, but we are we are down in the ticket count by a lot. Fast forward a little bit later, and we're trying to protect this one base right here. This is one of the most important bases on the map, uh, being centrally located. <laughs> Having to compliment my gun. Even singing about it. Uh, it's that stupid song from the Swiffer commercial. But, yes, I do get <laughs> get an impact double kill there. I confuse it for a triple. Uh, try to talk and chat before the enemies were cleared out, so I did pay for it. But it was a pretty awesome moment there. Um, the Scar H just tears through people. It, it, it's been good since the game release, and it's still good now. Um, so a few lives later, uh, or maybe just a few moments later, um, our team well, has complete shot, control of the train station, and this ends up being the area that the majority of the game is fought out, as usual on this map. Lumpini Garden is is very um, intense in the uh, train station. I jump out to this open area and try to get um, some kills, but it didn't work out and I ended up getting killed. So now I'm here on the other side trying to take out this one guy and failing because I did listen to Gaz in Call of Duty Modern Warfare and he said switching to your sidearm is always faster than reloading. So of course that completely messed me up there and I missed that kill. But do <laughs> talking about cutting the umbilical cord of my team. Um, so I managed to take out that guy and revive both of my squad mates because you want to make sure that whenever you're in a position like this, you revive as much as possible because um, it it keep you want as many guns as possible basically. So you you want it to be a, as defensively strong as possible. Uh, I this is whenever I 
I unknowingly find probably the greatest place on the map in this particular situation. I'm protected from the right side and have a very good view of the entire left side and have a good downward angle. Um, trying to take out this recon. Um, I know he has a spawn beacon back there, so I was trying to take that back. And managed to blow it up here, which draws him out one more time. He manages to get a hit on me there, but then I do manage to take him out. I do my, cel that, huh? my celebratory haz. So, managed to take out that one guy, and then I fall off by accident. And um, mostly due to frame rate loss, and uh, just managed to last a little bit longer as I take out the few guys that are spawning in, because this is their spawn location. I should probably feel bad about spawn raping, but um, not not whenever I was in the moment. I, I mess up here, don't know how I missed this guy, probably mostly because of suppression. But that was a very good run, that was my best life in the match. So let's go a little bit further, and we, um, we've been... <laughs> I, I'm complaining about my team basically giving up because I turn around <laughs> after that life and we almost have no bases and I'm I was just amazed I was like what happened like you just like gave up so we're pushing forward trying to cap what back what we lost it does not take us that long because if it did we probably would have lost the game take out those guys around this one more time surrounded up around this two floor building which is just awful like it, if there's snipers in it it can take forever to take them out even with your entire team but thankfully they did not have that many guys on this location yet because it can be very impregnable whenever the entire team spawns on it managed to push through trying to I, I actually don't know how I got that revive there and get a suppression there and beat that guy <laughs> Getting really happy. Um, yeah. Scourge is better than the bulldog, you whore. <laughs> Say that. Uh, I was having a really good time with this match. Like, it's been a while since I had so much fun with a match, but I think it's because I was doing so well. Um, now we are on the place that I believe is probably the worst location in the map. Um, my guys get completely shredded on both sides of this little building, and we also get the rain of fire, which is the mortar. Guys getting completely completely decimated and I'm trying to revive him as much as I can but this is a very open spot and then the enemy can always run up those stairs at the front of the building and get a good down down angle on us um, shoot that guy through him and uh, I died by this guy because nobody seems to notice but I did kill that guy a lot in this match um, I did notice <laughs> um, reviving my guys some more uh, did not realize the game was almost over as my guys are dying by mortar still. And just like that, the game was over. Uh, it was a very good match for me. One of my best matches in a while. So I was very happy with it. I was happy while playing it too. That was It was a great match. So until next time, if you guys like this, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, this is Yummy. Goodbye and good hunting.